These men are hoping to find work. I have no work for you, this factory owner tells them. The price of electricity has increased, making it more expensive to run machinery. And the collapse of Pakistan's currency makes importing raw materials very difficult. Every day, dozens of factories are closing, hundreds of our workers are becoming jobless. We even don't have the money to give our electricity bill. That is the reason that these factories look like the graveyard of the machinery. And the reason is, is that our uh, government, they are politicians, they are busy in the game of power. The city of Faslabad is famous for its factories, but now so many have been left jobless. Where are we supposed to go? How are we to send our children to school and feed them? We can only work if there's work. The politicians are stuck in their own politics. No one cares about us workers. Everyone in this city has felt the impact of the crisis. This is one of the largest textile factories in the country. They produce clothing for designer brands. They too have had to lay off workers, but they've weathered the storm for now. Uh, each government comes with a different uh, agenda, with a different subsidy package, with a different uh, uh, policy. So one thing which we can differ from, or which differs us from uh, competitors like uh, other countries like Bangladesh is the consistency and implementation of a long-term policy to ensure the sustainable growth of the textile sector. The Pakistani government's discussions with the IMF are said to include energy subsidies for the textile industry. Some worry that if those are cut or removed, things could get worse. Pakistan has lots of poverty and unemployment, and because of this industry, so many of us get work and run our households, especially important for women because there aren't a lot of opportunities generally. People here say there is so much potential in the textile industry and it can become a world leader if it's supported by the government. With the coalition government still debating the terms of a relief package with the IMF, the success or failure of Pakistan's economy could hinge on the textile industry. That's why business leaders here are urging the government to protect it. But most of all, they want political stability, something that's been missing in recent times. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Faisalabad, Pakistan.